G'day folks, Ben from Snowy's here today. I'm talking about the Oztrail Fat Mat Camping Mats. Hit it. These mats offer 15 centimeters of thickness, a nice soft top, and the double version comes in a massive 150 centimeters of width. Now, these fat mats from Oztrail offer an extra level of comfort for your camping expeditions. They come in 15 centimeters of thickness here, and it's a self-inflating mat that's also airtight, so they have less fill inside than other traditional Austral mats. I've had many, they can pack up a little bit smaller. So this one here is a double mat that offers the thickness of the one on the bottom here. Now they come in two sizes. We'll cover off on some of the basics first. This is the 750 and the one over here is the 1500. So they weigh about, around about four and a half and around about eight and a half kilos. Both of them pack up to about 75 centimeters in length, depending on how you pack it up. And diameter wise from the factory, this one's about 30 centimeters in diameter, whereas the larger one about uh, 45 centimeters in diameter. Now they both come in these oversized bags, which allow for a little bit of error when you pack it up, if you don't get it quite as small, it allows a bit of extra space. So you've got all this extra room in here to get it back into the bag. So it's nice and easy to get in there. Even if you don't roll it tight enough, Compression straps over the top here to keep it all secure and also a couple of carry straps here which go right around the base of the bag so they're nice secure heavy duty carry straps. Now you do also get a couple of straps on the mat inside the bag here so once you've rolled it up you've got these little velcro straps here that undo from this end so these just secure it before it goes back in the bag and in the bag here you also get just a little repair kit and some patches of fabric and stuff so you can repair any any holes or anything if they occur. Now underneath these two that are packed up here, I've got both mats unrolled. Uh, they've been sitting to deflate or inflate, sorry, in the shop for some time now. So when you get your mat from new, they won't look quite like this. It takes a little while for that foam to expand out to sit naturally like this. Now I've not pumped any extra air into these, so I'll show you how comfortable they are without it adding extra air, but you can actually pump these up much tighter so you can have a really firm surface on these. Just talking about the dimensions, uh, as I mentioned, 15 centimeters of height here, which is where the real difference is with these mats. Most mats are sort of around about 10 centimeters in this range, but we're seeing more and more of these 15 centimeter ones come out now. The single here, about 75, 76 centimeters in width and 198 centimeters in length. And the double underneath here is 150 centimeters in width here. So it's wider than a lot of double mats that we've seen and it's just over 200 centimeters in length. And as I mentioned, both of them have 15 centimeters of um, thickness there. The materials that it's made of, if we start from the base, the bottom here is a 75 denier polyester. So it's a slightly more durable base than what's on the top. It's all welded to a 30 denier stretch pongy or pongy fabric, they call it. I don't quite know how to say it, but it's got a nice soft feel to the sides and the top here is the same fabric. and gives a nice sort of luxurious surface to sleep on. It has got a bit of a pattern in there as well, so it adds a bit of style to your, uh, to your tent or your camper setup. Inside is a cord cell foam. So if, we, if I feel along the side so I can feel there's kind of a hole around about this sort of um, diameter here another one about here, another one about here. So along this, um, along the, the length of this foam, there are cores that run right across the width here. And what that allows it to do is give stability or allow this mat to puff up to 15 centimeters. Yet when you're packing it down, there's a little less foam that you're trying to squash up to get it back into the bag. So that's traditionally how these self-inflating mats are made. And one of the main differences with this Austral mat compared to some of the ones I've had in the past is that this exterior fabric is lighter duty and it's actually bonded to the foam inside. So if we pump lots of air into this, this isn't going to balloon up, it's just going to get firmer and firmer. It does also mean it is an airtight mat, so it is prone to punctures if you're not careful where you set it up. Now inflating the mat is all done through the valves on the end here. So there's a single valve on the 750 here. And if we just have a look at the end of the 1500 here, you can see there's actually two valves, one at this end and one across the other side here. And that's just going to allow it to inflate and deflate much quicker. These have got a little one-way valve inside. So there's a cap on top of here that we undo. And inside there's a little one-way valve. So at the moment that's set up such that it will allow the air to go in. If I flick that around while I'm leaning on the mat, I can actually feel air just coming out of there. If I flick it right around that, and now allows me when I roll it up for the air to come out of the mat and it won't suck back in. So that allows you when you're, when you're rolling it to sort of roll it up once, squeeze all the air out. You can then unroll it 
It's not going to inflate as you unroll it. You can then roll it again to keep squeezing the air out to get it down to a nice compact pack size. Now the most important question I suppose is how comfortable are these mats? So I'll push the single mat aside here and I'm going to sit on this one. Now this mat, I haven't pumped extra air into it. It's been sitting on the shelf with the valves open so it's naturally allowed the foam to expand to a certain point and suck as much air in as it can and it's just sat there, I haven't pumped more air in. So as I sit on this, I'm not squeezing more air out. If I was to open the valves on the end, I'd probably squeeze more air out. So this is just naturally how firm it is. And sitting here at the moment, I can, I can feel I can press the foam down onto the ground, but I don't feel like I'm hitting the ground hard like there's still enough foam there to be comfortable so and that's with me putting all my weight directly on one point here so i do touch the bottom but i'm not hitting hard i'm hitting compressed soft foam so lying down then and i often find these mats are more comfortable without much air in it especially if there's two people on here because it allows you both to sink into the mat and give you support a better support than a hard sleeping surface but lying down on this mat now i'm only about 70 kilos i'm, I'm not a heavyweight by any means but I don't think I'd actually need to put more air in this at all. I feel really comfortable here. Side sleepers, because you've got that 15 centimeters of depth, plenty of room for the shoulder to sink down. If I have a nice pillow here as well, I actually feel almost as comfortable as I would on my mattress at home, because it's just giving me that extra space for my shoulder to sink down into the mat. So this 15 centimeters of thickness here, um, combined with the design of these mats, allowing it to be packed up relatively small like the one I showed you earlier, means you're getting even more comfort for camping in intense camper trailers, wherever you need a mat, and you're not having to carry the massive bulk around that you used to have to if you wanted a really thick mat. So these are a really good option if the one thing for you about camping is how comfortably you sleep. This is gonna help you get through your nights and wake up bright and sparky in the morning. You can check them out online at snowies.com.au where you find them at our lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions though, let us know down in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for all of our latest and greatest information or if you want to check out some other camp mats, try these ones down here.